Hello, all you SaaS users out there. It is Allison and Al, and we're here with another update about the Notes and Tags panel, a panel that um, some of you may be familiar with. I think it's probably underutilized. Hopefully, this video will help you realize how valuable it is. Uh, but it's just gotten a little bit of a facelift, has a little more functionality. Um, I think one thing that Al's always done is tried to make this product as easy to use as possible, as helpful as possible in your sourcing. And I think these changes to notes and tags will definitely, definitely do that. So Al, tell us about these changes. Hi folks. Yeah, so we've had, we've had notes and tags now for well, well over a year. So but what we've recently done, we've modified it. So you can add more than one note to an ASIN. And we've actually tied the notes and the tags to, to, a, to an ASIN of an item rather than an individual lookup. So if you look up, a, if you look up an ASIN multiple times, you're going to keep seeing the same tags and the same notes. So quickly explain why bother with notes and tags in the first place. What a, a tag is, is an easy way for you to tag any product where there's something that you want to be able to either search on later to find the product, or to remind you of um, a special sort of that sort, that sort of product that you're sourcing. Like you might have a replenishable tag that you want to put on all your replenishable items. You might have a tag for like three for two, if you really want to buy this when there's, on a, when there's a three for two sale on. So okay. I, 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 I kind of like to think of it as like a filing system almost. So you know that this one is going to be a replenishable put it in your replen area while you apply a tag to it for replenishables. You know, you want to look this one up um, in advance of Father's Day. Great. Put a Father's Day tag on it. Um, it really helps you be able to come back to them at the time that you really need to come back to them. Yeah, um, exactly. It, it's, it, there's all sorts of things you could compare it to. You could compare it to favorites, adding something to your favorites so you can easily find it again. Um, having your different colored flags in Gmail so you can flag messages in different ways. We've called them tags. And like by default, everybody gets a star tag. So you can star an item, maybe you want to get your VA to star items, like you then look in your history for star items. Or you can create your own tags that are custom to you. Well, like, so in this setup that we've got here, in our notes and tags, we've got the star, we've got a check weekly tag that we've created and only three for two. VA Bob's list and an Easter tag. And the way they work is you just click or tap on them to apply a tag to the, the, the current ASIN, the ASIN that you're looking at. And that's it for, for applying tags. So it, they're really quick and easy to turn on and turn off. Okay. How do they create the tags? So to create the tags, you go into your settings you scroll down to the bottom of your settings, you have tags down here. So, so by default, say everybody's got a star, then you can just create a new tag. We'll call this one um, a demo tag. So we'll apply that. So that's added a demo tag to your sort of list of tags. What I'll do, I'll just refresh this item. And now you can see we've got a demo tag here that we can apply or take off. Okay, so we've put the demo tag on. What I can do now, if I go into my history, switch on, turn on the demo tag, do apply, and then it, it brings up that result in our history. So okay. you, can, you can filter your history by any tags. Okay, okay, excellent. How about the notes? What, uh, those look like they look very different than they used to look. Yeah, so with, um, but so, so with tags, tags are some are things that you're going to repeat sort of more than once. Whilst with a note, a note is like a basically a free text field where you can type in whatever you want. So if you can add a note to an item, this is a note or blah, blah. Hit enter, it saves it. So I could have just clicked the, the save button. When you've added a note, we put, put a timestamp on there. And again, this, this timestamp is automatically converted to your local time. So if a VA's put a note on, it, you'll see the time in your time rather than the VA's time, time zone. Okay, okay. So, whenever you sort of, so if you ever sort of go back to look at this ASIN again, if you're doing a search on any of these sort of SAS apps, 
you will have the full list of notes. Okay. So you could literally, like when it comes to VA, um, you know, say you were putting your VA on a quest one specific day to come up with specific products, you could have them apply a tag to everything and literally just make conversational notes to you about those products. You could go in and filter on that tag and you'd see all the individual notes that they wrote about why they chose that product. Yeah, yeah, like the way you would do it with your VA, you create a special type for your VA, so your VA says buy this. So when you think you should buy it, he'll, he'll, he'll sort of tag it to say, yeah, this is an item for you to buy. But if he's not 100% sure, he can always leave a note on it saying, yeah, I think you should buy this, but, and then it just gives you that bit more extra information. And like, they're also like good reminders to yourself, even if you've not got a VA, like if you're sourcing for a product like 12 months down the line, you're yeah. probably not going to remember that, oh yeah, it was in special theory shelf here a, a, a year ago. So you can put anything in there that you think gonna, you are going to find useful in the future. And that to yourself, I like that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay, so notes. Um, how about searching notes? Is that something that, oh, sorry, let me. So with, with, with this notes that I intentionally made a spelling mistake on. Ah, they're very good. I could search for this note later. So. All we need to do, if you put, don't need a demo tag on, we're just going to search for, I don't know, a town, as you do. <laughs> oh, look, we, we found, we found the, a no town. Yeah, so when, when, you, when you do a search in your history, it searches the product title, it also searches all, all the notes. So say you've got this one like stock up for Q4, I'm just going to go back to my history, stock up for Q4. So there we are, there we are in, the, in the history. So then move forward sort of six months. So I'm searching for scrolls again. Oh, look, there's a scroll. So sourcing this on, on the Amazon page. What we'll do, we'll, we'll bring up SAS. So then scroll, scroll down to our tags and notes. So you can see the tags are applied as we did before. And it's got, it's got the sort of notes. Got your notes. notes so you can just, really, this is this is that note to yourself in the future, isn't it? When you come back and, and look at it. Yeah. Okay. I see. You can you can edit and delete the notes there as well. Yeah. So going to edit the notes, like deleting the note, just simply delete it. Okay. And that's it. All right. And you can, you know, your keyboard shortcuts were just hitting return. We'll save it. And Excellent. Like, it's hitting escape or just like undo any changes and basically close it and not save it. I think it's worth mentioning the previous, uh, previously the notes and tags panel did have um, a source field in it, which you can see on screen here is now in the lookup details panel. Um, we've got another video on the lookup details if you want to take a look at that. Oh, we'll, link, we'll link to that on this yeah. video as well. Yeah, so, sounds good. So like with the notes and tags, they're connected to the ASIN, so whenever you look at this ASIN, again, you'll have the same notes and tags. While with the lookup and the source, that's tied to when you did that lookup. So if you, so then you can have different lookup, different sources in the history of the lookup. Perfect, yep, it's, it's good to, to understand the difference between those two, so. Um, I would just invite everybody to, to get into notes and tags if you haven't used them before. It really is invaluable. If you're just getting started, it might not seem like a big deal because you've only got a couple pages worth of products in your history. But before you know it, you're going to need to start organizing the products as you're analyzing and, and these are your tools to do so. Uh, Al, any uh, other parting, uh, parting thoughts? Yeah, one thing we need to add in is we can now export your notes and your tags to, to your Google Sheets. Great point. Where if I just go into Sheets here, if I edit our sort of SAS by sheets, what we have, so we can add, add the tags in. So in this, it says a scan specific, but they are like tied to the ASIN. So that will, that will export any tags that you've applied. We have last note which is the, just will export your, the previous notes into that export, while the all notes will export all notes on separate lines. So if I go into our sheet here, have we got, have we got export turned on? No, we haven't. So let me just go and quickly turn on, well, what I'll do, I will 
open this in sheets first. So this is that, that um, buy sheet, test and write headers, as we've added these extra fields in. So you can see we've got these extra fields at the bottom here. What I'll do now is go into my settings. We didn't, we turned off Google, Google Sheets for this demo. I'll just turn that back on again. Save that away. So refresh this and we're going to have the Google export panel up. So there it is. SAS, so export this one now to the SAS buy sheet. If I go back to the SAS buy sheets, we can see you've got the tags on your three different lines. You've got a last note stuck up for Q4. Then you've got all the notes at the end here, which also have the date and time in them. Fantastic. Great. And I promise we will do a video on Google Sheets soon. I know I keep saying that, but we will. All okay. right. That is fantastic news. So, so again, even more reason to, to get into notes and tags. You know, they will help keep you organized, I guarantee it. So on that note, we will wish you all uh, happy sourcing, everybody. And uh, we'll see you next time around. Bye. Just ask. Bye.